Please my welcome, Sean Kelly! Thanks, Benny. Benny's done a terrific, a terrific job tonight. Give it up for Benny, everybody. So, so I figure um, I've got to wrap up all these cricket jokes, don't I? Right? So the only difference uh, between Tiger Woods and Dave Warner is that Dave Warner gets men to tamper with his balls when he cheats. Right? But this cricket crisis is... I'm really worried about the Australian psyche. Like, I think it's really affecting everybody. And the person I think that needs to fix it that's not doing the right job is Malcolm Turnbull. Like, he should be bringing Australia together and helping us heal. And so one time that I think that we should have Donald Trump as our leader, because he could fix it in a tweet. Trump would just fix it in one tweet. I've got it for you. Hang on. I've got it. He would tweet... This is Donald Trump. He'd go... Sad day for Australia. Hugely disappointed with Steve Smith and the Australian cricket team. Never would... I never got caught when Stormy Daniels was tampering with my balls. I should be captain. Disappointing. And automatically, all of Australia is angry at Donald Trump. That's what he would do. He'd bring together. We wouldn't feel so bad about the cricket team. But talking about phones... They're all now trying to innovate and be better so you can decide which phone you want to get. And they're trying to get new technology from different parts of the world. The new Google Pixel now has, has squeeze technology. You don't have to touch a button anymore. You just squeeze the fucking thing. Like, it makes it really easy. Now we're getting innovation from source bottles, right? Where I want squeeze technology to activate, you know where I want to install it? In my girlfriend, right? Get the squeeze to activate there. That would be awesome. Google... Uh, fa uh, Apple is the same. It's trying to make things easier. It's now got facial recognition. So you just pull your phone out and boom, it unlocks. Don't have to press any buttons. That's terrific. We don't need to worry about anything. You know what? You know who needs this the most? Athletes. Athletes do amazing things on the field, but when they've got this in their hands, late at night, weird shit ends up on the internet. We need to adapt this technology. If the, if the face can unlock our phone, you know what we need to do? We need to lock our phone when it gets to the cock. <laughs> face unlock, cock lock. Face unlock, cock lock. Cock lock, face unlock. Oh, hang on, that's a Ricky Nixon setting. Sorry about that. With this cock locking technology, right? Because we do need it. The girls are getting far too many dick pics. Am I right, girls? <laughs> Right, they do need it, but what I do feel for is the people who have to test the technology. Imagine being in Cock Lock Technology Inc. and have to go to work every day, pull your cock out to test if it works. Imagine having the performance review with your boss and say, sorry sir, my dick was not recognised by this device. <laughs> right, so there's just so, so many troubles. But so we've got to get this technology sorted. But I do love my phone, it's great, it's got an unlimited resources, of uh, audio and I'm always listening to podcasts and music um, and it just lets me, lets me zone out, all right? And so I'm walking down the street, you know, with my headphones in. Yeah, I walk like I'm in a 50s musical. And, um, and it just lets me ignore people. It's the best. And so the other day I was walking down the street and, uh, and uh, you know, and all, what I normally do is just do the tap, tap, shrug, right? And just ignore them. Say, sorry, man, listen to a podcast, listen to some music and just completely ignore them. It happened the other day. I was walking down the street. It's now reflex for me to do the tap, tap, shrug. The other day, I was walking down the street and I see this donation. Got his, got his raffle ticket books. He's coming right at me and I just go, tap, tap, shrug. And then this guy comes back to me and starts doing this. And I'm going, oh, shit. I'm not wearing headphones. He thinks I'm deaf. The fuck is with the Deafness Foundation? So I opened my wallet quicker than a, a cricketer leaving South Africa, gave him 50 bucks because guilt is a funny thing. And every time I tell that story, I donate another 20 bucks. So thank you very much. My name's Sean Cullen. You guys have been great.